What's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing a little bit of Hunbots in the soul lane, which I have prepped for absolutely not what what are the words? Absolutely not? Absolutely not whatsoever? Something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say right now. It's early, okay? My coffee's wearing off. I'm down bad. Um, I just got out of an absolute just clown fiesta of a game, which was really fun. I played a little crit thanato solo for my warm-up. And uh, it went it went pretty good. I have this strat. I don't remember if I brought this up in a video or not yet. Um, I don't know why we have potato clear now, but it's fine. Their solo is not even here. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have threed it for like one second of clear versus having a no clear right now. Kind of bad on my part, but it'll work out. Yeah, we get to go against a Nike and Nike's going to be Nike. So I don't think we kill her ever. Click. Um, <laughs> I don't know the point that was. But yeah, I played a little crit Thanatos solo. It was a good time. I think this game is at least in the early game not going to be a good time. I think it's going to take a little while for us to warm up into it because just tanky girl, like tankiest girl in game, not even close, right, I would say. She kind of exists to be tanky and really hard to kill. And we also have to go beads for stupid Daji. Daji's going to be doing Daji things where she presses four sometimes. And I'm one of those down bad smite characters that doesn't just have magical CC immunity on at least one if not two abilities because I'm not new enough apparently. We don't, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> I'm not actually trying to start a rant. It's just kind of true. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be tough for us to deal with the, the stupid Daji ult. So we got to go beads. Even though I want blink for big ganks. I think we actually get a clapper in a sec here. Am I wrong? Well, if you do that, it's free. Oh, wait, actually, it might not be free. Hang on. She goofed. There we go. <laughs> if she just walked away from the auto, she died, man. Too greedy. Way too greedy. That's actually kind of exactly what happened last game. Last game. Anyways, um, sorry, I know I sound like I'm on something right now. I like I literally just not even like the tiniest of segues. I was just like, anyways, mid sentence. Let me move on to the next thing. But <laughs> I realized that I didn't finish talking about something, which is uh, have some of that. Have a little bit of monkey on you that I'm thinking about editing together some like games that I don't upload and don't even plan to upload. I'm thinking about recording games that I play in general, um, Tarkov and Smite alike, not worrying about commentating because just I don't commentate everything I do. I know some people think I do, but <laughs> like, like I so often um, have stuff where it's like people just assume I'm recording when they get in a game with me and I'm probably recording about one third of the time. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. So, yeah, with some of that stuff where I'm not recording, I'm thinking about actually recording and just not commentating and maybe editing stuff with it and and kind of adding that, like splicing that into the channel, doing some shorts or something where it's like, hey, I played a Mimi pick. No, I didn't like commentate over it, but I can just like put some music. I can edit it together in some sort of Mimi way. I don't know. Um, and you guys can just see it frag and then like it won't really interrupt uploads. It won't be like super budget uploads. It'll just be like bonus content. So I'm thinking about doing that. And I'm thinking about doing that with the Thanatos game I just recorded. So Hunbot Solo, the game plan, this is more expensive than I thought. Man, I really thought we got Health Chalice there. I maybe should have stuck around another wave. But the big game plan with this pick is we're going to build him Bruiser, which is not a normal way to play Hunbots. I mean, it's not normal to play him solo either. But normally with Hunbots, you're going very high damage. Maybe like a Magi's is generally going to be like the closest you get to being Bruiser. And then you're just going cooldown and you're going damage and you're just trying to just like do a decent amount and also get a lot of ults off. And this game, we're going to be a little bit more bruiser. I'm going to try and stay alive in fights longer and we're going to see if it feels like it's actually impactful or if it just totally sucks. But I thought it'd be a nice little spice up since I haven't been playing the monkey too much lately. It feels kind of bad to play him in the jungle at the moment for casuals. I don't care. Um, but he's also a weird jungler to play because he's more of a sweaty jungler, realistically. Very team fight focused jungler. So... Like, I don't want to play him in ranked because he's not good for getting elo and ranked. And then I don't want to play him in casuals because he feels a little sweaty for casuals. And it's just like, I don't get to play this god enough, man. Like, he's a really fun character. I like him a lot. So I thought, why not? Let's try a little weird solo build for him without just full committing to memes. OK, we're going to do Hunbot solo, which is weird. We're going to build him a little bit normal for solo, though. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I tried. Dude. God damn it, man. I tried to be kind of flashy and turn after I threw it. And that just made me miss it like a bot. And that's not worth. You gonna jump on me? Oh, he's just gonna ult. Okay. I suppose that's fine. 
When she up downs, we're gonna try and jump on her, but apparently she's not gonna up down ever. Apparently she learned her lesson that last fight. Or that last kill. Alright, I do have a blue buff, and I could go get it, but it doesn't even seem to matter so far, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep doing other stuff. And if I get invaded, somehow I'll be sad. If we somehow just lose it. By the way, once we get a little bit deeper into this lane, once the clear is a little better, I'm assuming we one-shot wave soon once the two is maxed. I could be wrong. Um, and if we get to that point, I'm probably going to start rotating really hard. And we're going to start looking to invade some camps. Which, speaking of which, we're not invading, but we'll do these real quick because we've got a, a second too. It's something I got to get back in the habit of, man. I haven't really... I haven't played solo seriously, and I think, dude, <laughs> when are they going to fix that, man? Um, like years, I think? It's been a really long time since I've really played the role seriously. And so I want to get back in the habit of not necessarily playing it super serious, but at least like invading effectively because it's super strong. And uh, I haven't been, man, so we'll try and do that this game because I think we'll get the opportunity to. Because this is going to end up being a sleeper lane. Ooh, didn't expect her to go kind of hard. Hang on. Oh, we don't get a bounce to her. Oh, I didn't know it worked like that. She has a mystical now, by the way. I didn't know it could bounce back to totem. That's actually nutty. That's uh, <laughs> that's Hunbot solo tech right there, boys. Yeah, whatever. I was gonna ult wait. Oh, now we don't. All right, we broke dodgy three. We try and run, but I'm slowed. I maybe should have beadsed. Did they chase? They didn't chase. We're good. Okay, we miss a little bit of farm. Because I got ganked, and getting ganked is cringe. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, I don't remember if I brought that up in a real video or a video that I started recording and then stopped recording. But uh, I want to stop warding when I do play solo. At least, like, at least for the laning phase, and at least less. Because it's going to help me actually pay attention to Matt more. I feel like I'm a little bit dumb in Smite right now, ever since I took my, like, mostly two-week break from servers being bad. So, I want to kind of, like, big brain back up. And we're going to try and actually, like, focus on playing a little bit better. I'm not going to play, like, sweaty, but I'm going to do certain things to, like, mentally train, you know? <laughs> do a little bit of weight training and smite, if you know what I mean. Because that is a thing, man. People sleep on that. There's a lot of different stuff you can do to, like, even if you're not specifically trying to, if you just do subtle little things, you can help yourself actually, like, be better at the game. Are they bullying the man? It looks like they are. Nice. Bully all the Oloran players, man. I don't have an issue with Oloran, but I kind of do. I like, like, it's it's not wrong to play him. It just sucks so much to get ulted by him, you know? Her ult should still be down. This should be kind of free. Yep. Got the cooldowns feeling pretty good right now. We got the upgraded blue, and we've got the, the cooldown from Blackthorn. Five and a half seconds on the two. That's actually disgusting. That's so good for boxing. Right now, this ability before Prots is about 350, and we get to just kind of spam it, so <laughs> like, that's pretty good. I mean, right now, Osiris one before cooldown is six seconds, and that's like an absurdly short solo cooldown, yeah? And it does less damage, too, and it's harder to hit. So, feeling kind of nutty, feeling good. I keep, I keep wanting to ward, man. I keep wanting to ward. We need to not. Every single time I bank, I'm probably going to click those wards. Eventually, we'll get a little bit later. It'll be okay. I'll accept it. But in the meantime, maybe not so much. Hey, we've got another man of culture. Look at that. Blackthorn Hammer Erlang support. For when you got stuck with the support. So, so you want to build a little damage. I get it. I know what that looks like. Building more defense, huh? Yeah, so we don't really get to kill Nike anymore. Well, not quite, but like very soon. I think once she gets that item done, we're not going to be able to kill her. Or at least it's not going to be worth trying to kill her. Bing, bing, bing. Look at the tech diff! My god! <laughs> okay, she actually hit her stuff. Okay, she does lose this, though. Oh? Okay, we are getting ganked, apparently. I guess we'll hold the ult. Dude, I feel like every time I've tried to ult her, it just gets cancelled. And then, and then I'm like, maybe I won't ult her. Okay, this should get good in a sec. That wasn't it, Dodgy. Oh, she actually got the pull off. Man. I'm hoping she's dead. She's maybe not dead. I kind of thought they'd just get a clapper at the end, but that didn't happen. Rip beads, rip ult. That was actually a really good ult on her part, though. I didn't think she'd ult through it. Honestly thought she was goofing, but she was ready. Oh, that was some damage. I wish the boys were there for it. 
What? Get out of my lane. These people, man. I have like eight people in solo lane. It's called solo. Someone on the other team got I'm trying to just reach it. Hang on. Bing. 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 There we go. Oh, that's not who I wanted. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh my, how do I not die to that? Dude, Shifters is busted. <laughs> what is this fight? All right, everybody was dead, except for Art, who I'm assuming is not here, and Daji, who just spawned. So I think we get one more wave. It can't go wrong, boys, I swear. Give the man a little monkey. Is that even a monkey? It is a monkey, right? It's wrong that I haven't been playing the monkey enough to remember what the hell his three is. Sacred monkey. He commands a monkey. I think it's a monkey. I could be... <laughs> I could be wrong. High res is making it look like it. All right, let me do the thing. It's pretty funny, man. I don't remember what video it was. I think this was a while ago now. I think this was before I took the little, the little server break recently. But I got this comment, and there was some video where I didn't switch my relics. And somebody knew because I, you know, we go blink beads like every game ever. Um, not really, but like any characters where it makes remotely any sense, I tend to go that just because those are like the aggro relics. Those are the assassin style relics, right? And uh, somebody saw that I didn't switch them and that I was going to like mess it up. And I thought that was so funny because it's one thing for it to be like a smite thing, but it's not a smite thing. It's a me thing. They've watched enough videos that they know I switch that shit every time and they're like, here it comes. He's gonna he's gonna be instead of blink. And then I did. That was so funny, man. It is weird that like just from like recording or streaming or anything like that, people can like pick up on patterns of yourself and notice that going in. It's kind of a weird thought. Not in like a creepy way or anything. It's just kind of funny to think that like somebody at least knows like the smite part of me well enough that they like they know it's coming. They know it's gonna happen. You need some help. Now she's actually kind of just fragging. Dude, we didn't get a rotate because they just had like eight people in solo for the last two minutes. We gotta start invading shit right now. Well, after we murder them. Oh, I wanted to chase the jump, but we killed her too fast. Is Rackney BMing? Is that, <laughs> is that what that is? Is she spam laughing? It's a little unnecessarily toxic. What did they do to you? What did they do to your firstborn? I think this man just dies. Right. Can you... Ow. Boys, can... Hello? Okay. Getting a little debated. Hey, I think we're gone. All right, I don't, I don't know why everybody stayed on Pyro. That was actually a massive throw. I assumed that they would just get off and take like free kills because that was going to get really good if we just didn't get like 2v4. But, but no, we just kind of... Rackney got art ulted and then I got art ulted and then everybody kept doing the objective, but we could have just gotten frags and then the objective and then... Hi. All right, well... That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was probably not the timing she was looking for. Poor Daji, man. It was, I mean, it was kind of her fault, because she could have probably seen that coming, but it's still a bit unlucky. I want to kind of chase him out, but I don't have ult yet, so I gotta be careful to not get one shot. Oh, boys. Wait, are you kidding me? Hang on, bait? Nice. Now we do one of these. Oh, that's unfortunate. Got her spiders blocked, huh? Int! Nice. Alright, what do we in? Wait, do we actually just get away with that? <laughs> Our acne doesn't even die? Alright, apparently that was a good play. Honestly, I thought it was... Well, there we go. I thought that would happen. I thought Dodge would come over and clean me up. And that Arachne would die to the tower. Actually going surprisingly well so far. I feel like I should have died a couple of times. We had that one time where I got like 80 HP at our own tower. We managed to live. And then I figured in that pyro fight we should die. I don't really know. I think they just basically split off to kill team, which honestly I think worked for them. There's a good chance that if they actually chased me down, they don't get to kill the team. But surprisingly still sticking 5-0.
Not going too bad. Nike, don't you do it. You better be going for fruit and not my buff. I love it too much to lose it. So I'm thinking with our last items, we're probably going to go at least a Heart Seeker, and I'm thinking maybe also a Crusher. I thought it'd be good to get at least some bonus damage to go along with the Blue Stone and try and really amp up our ability damage as we're getting later in the game. And Heart Seeker should hit really hard. But I don't know, it's probably dumb to go both of those. We're probably going to want to be tankier, so... Maybe get like a mantle or something still. Honestly, I don't, maybe a spirit robe. They have so much CC and their CC is pretty scary. Or even a Magi's. Actually, Magi's could be, if we don't lose it to stupid Nike CC's, Magi's is nutty. But we might just lose it to stupid Nike CC's. So for now, we'll do this. Start getting some damage going as if, <laughs> as if this is not enough, we'll, we'll get a little damage going. Even though we do already have like 150 power and three items. Don't worry, boys, I'm coming. On the other team got owned. I think we get a fatty cleanup. Artel has to be down. Be We've got Blink to go in. Of sprees, got okay, I'm trying to just body block. Nice. Greed pays off. Are you kidding me? He got like the last possible tick of Vegas right there. Dead? Dead. Do I get to chase this? I might die. I don't know where Nike is. Oh, she's left. Unless we just somehow get one shot by Emir, we're good. Oh, I tried to juke him. <laughs> Wait, where's my boy? <laughs> He's just spam taunting. Oh my god. Please DP. Thank you. Boy, <laughs> Emir. Please kill him, Erling. Oh my god, we get out. Hang on, hang on. She thinks... Oh, she's going for Erling now. God, it sucks that he didn't kill him there. He actually gets away with that taunt. You've got to be kidding me. Man is simply too tanky to die. Oh, for me, huh? I don't know if I want it, but whatever. I was offered it so graciously, we kind of have to. How tanky is this man? Yeah, he's got the, the support build I see like every single game where he just doesn't die to me because I play physical gods. It's so annoying, man. I don't think, uh, I am not on the tank meta train. I mean, it also, normally when people say tank meta, they're referring to solo lane, too. I don't actually think support's too tanky, but it still does bug the shit out of me when, uh, when I, like, absolutely kit dump a support, like, three or four sets of cooldowns and they don't die. It's so obnoxious, man. Now, the thing to keep in mind is they are spending all of their money to do exactly that, and then generally we're playing cooldown-based assassins, which are the worst for killing tanks, especially early game. But, oh my god, it's so obnoxious. It's so tough to bring him down. I mean, seriously, how many times did I jump on the Nimir's face? It was probably literally three jumps, right? And that was after we'd already been fighting him and Olrin at the same time, 2v2 with Erlang. Yeah, it takes a little bit to kill them in. But we did have a solid 0% pen, too. And kind of a bruiser build. Oh, awkward. Okay, he's level 11. I'm almost level 19. I think Pyro gets us level 19. Damage test! Get him! Okay, well, this is biased now, because he's just dead. Right, boys? Nice. <laughs> Yeah, since the boys are going to do a little damage, it's not quite the same. I did it a lot harder there. Heartseeker made a big difference. Let's see if we can actually do anything to this art. I think we get beads up in time. I think there's basically no way that I kill her if I don't have beads, but I think it'll come in pretty clutch. We actually might even wait to go in. Oh, well, unless she does this. Oh, are you? Dude. <laughs> well, she probably heard that. Yeah, I meant to blink if you wait. Wait, Art, what are you, do you not know? Art, come on. Dude, if she trapped the up down, that would have been so bad for me. Did she trap, she trapped earlier. Okay, I didn't even hear her do that. Oh, the boys died. That's not good. I didn't even notice. I just saw we got FG. Alright, I guess let's back for probably normal blue stone upgrade. I really want to do some red stone upgrades, but I feel like they're very team-based. Like, even if you have a pick that could be kind of cool with it, which Hunbots isn't the best, but it'd be, like, acceptable. 
Um, okay, do we go, by the way, do we go Hydra's? Probably don't need it now that it's a little bit nerfed, especially. But yeah, I really want to do some redstone. That's not up. And this isn't up. Some redstone builds. But it feels like I need to be against more auto attack teams. A lot of time we're not. This game would be okay, but I don't know. I don't feel like I need it that much. Oh, I didn't reach. I can maybe. It's going to take. Okay, well, we got our beads and we got her all. There we go. And then she laughed. <laughs> okay. You realize you used, like, all your stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't get her teleport down. Maybe that's next. I want to know, like, whoever laughs when they... I think people just don't even understand. I know I brought this up in multiple videos before. That always that always gets me. I never understand it. It's like, I won that trade, but they're, they're laughing because they didn't die, though. <laughs> I didn't feed this time. Get an ult! Maybe? I thought we'd get an ult. Oh, <laughs> casually casually and accidentally juking Ymir Freeze. Hang on, let me knock it dodgy ulted. Are we good, boys? Yeah, I don't have ult for this fight, so it's not the best. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to beat you. Stop. <laughs> That's so he got so trolled by his team. They did not position at all for that man. Look at that defense, putting in work right now. We're just kind of chilling. We also jumped to Nike ult. What? Can you stop? Man, I didn't want to go on this one. I think we do get to chase her down though. Never mind. Oh, that body block. Not even intentional, but I'll take it. Well, the Hunbot solo is kind of slapping right now. I feel like that fight was honestly pretty coincidental because we got <laughs> we got two different spots. Oh, I guess they have an Ulleran spawning. We can't do this. I honestly thought that was just Titan for a sec because I saw Art was still in right. But Ulleran does just kind of get a defend there since I think everybody but me was low. Yeah, it's kind of wild that we get uh, we get the big Erlang route so that we get to collapse on Daji there after she committed all her cooldowns. And then we got that, oh my, that teleport was disgusting. They just synced it up perfect. It was like a trick shot. We had like somebody lined up at max range over and over again for us to get that all the way over there. I don't even know, how long was that? That had to be like 110 foot or unit or whatever the hell the smite units are called. Um, teleport, I think. Like double the range of the three. All right, so now we got decisions to make. Um, I'm auto canceling a lot because that's what Humbots does. I mean, we literally basically have nerfed Hydras for a passive, which is super nerfed, by the way. Oh my God, this passive sucks. I really wish it was better. Um, but we have that. We could go Hydras, but defense might be good. Yeah, because right now I feel like a lot of why we've been so tanky thus far is Shifter's passive exists and we have bonus HP. And then I just kind of kill him fast. So <laughs> I think it might actually be really good for us to get more defense going. And I'm not remotely close to this. Steal it so I get money so I can buy Mantle. The enemy team has they didn't. The I wanted it back. It's going to be better if we rotate here. It's a little bit of a sketchy fight. I'm hoping we actually get here to do some stuff. Be dead. Okay, doubt we get to do anything more here. Oh, we missed that, though. Okay, I am not doing damage to this man. We're just dead as hell. So, anti-heal might be good. It turns it turns out. <laughs> I'm trying to think, will it matter enough? Should we actually go build some right now? Because that was literally the only, I am pretty sure, the only reason he remotely lived there, or at least lived so easily, is just, I mean... Yeah, 53% life steal. That's before Bancroft procs. So, pretty decent amount, right? Actually, that might have been with Bancroft procs, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that was a little bit with it. So, div uh, not Divine Brawlers might be good. Could also actually go Pestilence and be a tankier boy. Other than that, it's going to be really hard to get anti-heal, though. I don't know, maybe I do just go... It might be fine to go Pestilence. I don't know. 
Yeah, the thing that sucks is like if we're not 1v1ing, it's not gonna matter that much. And the rest of our team has some anti-heal. Maybe it's fine. We're gonna hope. We're gonna hope we don't run into that again. <laughs> and if I do, I just won't force the fight, because I, I know he's gonna lifesteal too much through it. I'll get our mantle going, be a little tankier. Which that would have helped too. I had a bunch of money to spend. Getting an extra 60 magic prot would have been a big deal, but we still wouldn't have killed him there. At least not without ult. By the way, we get a pretty nice amount of cooldown out of this too. We don't overcap or anything. So once we get blue buff, we actually get to camp. Or if we get a red pot. All right, do we get a free fire? Because I feel like with Olaren dead, we should just do it. Because I think Olaren's the person that's scary right now. That stupid ult slowing everybody for just basically just 50%. Kind of good. Okay, can you leave me alone though? <clears throat> leave me alone so I can actually ward. Yeah, they actually, <laughs> we have really good vision, but they do actually have the sentry on fire. Or well, they did. Duh, okay. I'll chill, it's fine. Hang on, let me get my gaming position. Hold up, boys. <laughs> Started slouching. I gotta be frag ready. Yeah, I am. Oh, they did ward this, though. I am pretty ready to go hard here. Oh, that's big ult. Okay, we get some relics. I'll take it. We actually got out of a ton of stuff right there, too. We got Olerin ult and Tusky, and we didn't get stuck in it, which is nutty. Then we have the beads for this. Nice. That's that's just a free fight. That's Let's go. We ate, like, all their big ults and didn't kill me with it, so... <laughs> it's just an easy game. Nice, boys. They cleaned that up really well. But that was kind of disgusting how much value we got there. We got some relics and we just made them burn all their big ults, so they just don't really get a fight after that. Look at that. The monkey! He might look small, but he's actually kind of tanky. Nice. Damn, I actually think that's a really good build, man. I feel like that's really similar to like a Kamazot solo build, and it actually felt like it did a lot of stuff. There were some awkward fights where occasionally we're trying to do a lot of damage 1v1, and it feels like we don't, and that's because we don't have the Hydras, and we don't have like Crusher, basically. We don't have that like little bit of extra damage on our auto cancels and just another like tier 3 damage item instead of a bruiser item. But when we're doing team fight damage and team fight stuff, we still overall hit really hard. I mean, we did 32k, um, <laughs> still overall hit really hard, and then we've got the extra survivability that actually had a massive impact, man, I hope so much. But thank you guys for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name, and I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. Sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down